Hey everyone, Nightlord here, and it is Friday. I know it's late for this video, I am sorry, but we are back with another episode of Game of Thrones. So, where we leave off? Well, for those of you who don't remember, let's see, we had the option of taking Marjorie's signature and writing a letter to, apparently, uh, not Asher, the eldest son, the son who we thought died at the Red Wedding. I'm trying to blank on name right now. But he attended the, his meeting and found out his fiance or his supposed to be fiance we're not sure on the details is coming and so his mom decided to write a letter to her, her daughter out who's working for lady marjorie about getting lady marjorie to send a letter to keep their wedding intact well <clears throat> after lady marjorie left i was given the option to finish the letter i was on or forge a letter from her to do that and I chose to not do it. And so that's where we left off. So we didn't write the letter, and we're going to trust that I am able to keep the wedding going. So we will find out how that goes in this episode of Game of Thrones. Let's begin. Play. Continue episode two. Okay, guys, here we go. <clears throat> so let's see how this goes, guys. Hopefully good, but I'm not sure what to expect. Let's find out. And if we can stop lagging, we be good. We be good. Just make sure I'm still recording. Hey, I'm still recording. That's all I want to make sure, guys. Okay. The gathering of men. There I am. Today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. There's guys threatening me. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night, watch. Listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. No. To defend the and I don't care. You should. That's this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? That sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fought. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fought potatoes. What? No! I stole them. Oh. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Fucking talk about my sister, all right? Leave him be. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Oh, man. I'm in trouble. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Yep. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants... Doesn't mean shit. We'll find so today out. you're all gonna show me what you're made of. I'm Can made you of a swing lot. a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Die? Crossfinger. It's John! I need a word. John Snow! Go oh. on! Get started! That's awesome, guys. Oh, I didn't know when you would show up. Best of luck, Tuttle. Yep, I'm a Tuttle. 
proud of it. Keep struggling. Here we go. Again. Bows up. Okay. See those dummies? Those are thin. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. I'm gonna wanna see what's going on over there though. So bad. Hmm. Demonstrate your combat skills. Wait a minute. Look at the brazier. Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Okay. Let's see, guys. Oh, okay, let's, you know, use the barrels. I can do that. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? I know how to do See it. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Oh, right. That's... I can do this. You got this. <clears throat> Want some help? <laughs> Show off. We got this. Sometimes I'm gonna get tripped right about here. Oh, well, maybe not. Yep, there it is. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Got it. I'm thinking steward for you. Nope. Look at how Frostfinger washes cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. I'm not holding my breath, brother. I'm gonna be ranger, guys. I'm making sure of it. Okay, so let's see. You sort of Have a practice sword. Hmm. Oh, I get to pick which sword. Well, favorite colors red. So we're gonna pick the red one. I'll be sparring with you today. Oh, jeez. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Keep at it. Yup. Okay, we got that one. We got this. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Luck? I got the skills. So I left left is to do the archery training. Which is... I don't know. Let's look at the hallway. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. Yeah, I can't do that. So where's archery gun? It's over here. Yeah, there it is. Let's do this, guys. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these. We're like. Ah! Ah! My, 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 my. 
Mantrader will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Got it. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Got it. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Yeah. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Between the eyes, huh? One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Thanks, sure I hit all of them. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. No, that's don't bad. Don't tell, all right. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Give it back. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? Someone has it. I'll cut their fucking balls off. Kotsa took it. Hey, don't steal, guys. Fucking thief. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! Okay. I won't say it again. Don't do that again. A fight if you ever hit me again. I swear I'll. Hey, listen. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. <laughs> Didn't? And Garrett knew about it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Lie to me. Is this what I can expect from you, Tuttle? On your first bloody day of training? Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly oh. need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. Huge. Come with me. I could go spend time with Jon Snow. Dick. That was fun for you, for me, guys. I actually enjoyed that. It's kind of cool doing the training. Now let's see what's next. This way. Oh yeah, we got talk. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. You're right. It's beautiful here. 
just through here. Okay. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Thirty's finest see. wine. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. Can't do that. Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the queen cellar well stocked. No. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. I can't do that. I can't do that at all, guys. Nope. Not at all. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I'm going to refuse it. Suit yourself, then. So, I, uh... Let's see. Yep, keep drinking your wine. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. I promise. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She mm. became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flower. What? You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But I always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been, to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted oh. nothing to do with me after my mother died. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. Hey! <laughs> Just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. Of course, Sarah. I'll do it. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies. My favorite man. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We aren't doing anything wrong. On the contrary, you seem to be doing everything right. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. Yeah. I'd be curious yeah. to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Okay. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. 
I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped shell swords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Ah, uh, you're a smart man. Very smart. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> you My lady. Hiding man. And you're back to drinking. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss it? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Good lord hearing. Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. This Good is day, so. gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood? Yep. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. For not to take the war war out. Personally. But you can't back down with propositions like this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. Yeah. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. I hope so too. I really hope so too. My lady. Okay. Well guys, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thanks for watching so much, you guys. You know, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That really means a lot to see. As well, you know what? Check out some of my older videos. And you know what? Consider subscribing to my channel, you guys. I'm going to try posting a little bit more this month. I stayed in my Wednesday review. 
as well, you know what? Check out the links in my little box below. And they will take you to my friend's Twitch and YouTube channels, where they do some amazing stuff, guys. And you know what? Trust me, they taught me a lot. So give them a look. Consider subscribing to their channels while you guys. I will see you guys Monday with another video. Have a great night and a great weekend. Bye.